Hello my art loving friends! I have a very exciting video for you today because in today's video I will be previewing some of the fun stuff coming up on this channel. Stay tuned! Alright, I've been really sick this week, very unexpectedly. In fact, I'm all flushing out right now because I really just need to go lay back down. But I wanted to tell you guys what's coming up and I didn't want to leave you in the dark on a Friday for your Friday video, so here I am. I'll be quick though, hopefully. Who knows how this goes. But some of the cool stuff I have coming up on this channel, the one that I'm the most excited and kind of scared for is I opened all the rest of my unopened art subscription boxes. So 10 boxes is what we had left in that pile. Plus two that are let's make art. Kind of I put a whole bunch of months in those boxes. Now I didn't open those with these. Since they're exclusively watercolor, I'm saving them for another video, but I'll probably try and do them all at once too. So that's coming up. So we have 10 boxes worth of art supplies that I'm going to create one art piece with. Plus there's so much stuff in them that I'll be able to create a ton of really fun videos for you guys coming up. Really looking forward to it. One of those really fun things I have right here is to compare the Strathmore visual journals. One is the watercolor and one is the mixed media because I have heard rumors that the mixed media one is better than the watercolor one. So we're gonna find out. I also have a bunch of new watercolor paper that I am going to try with you guys. This is really exciting. So we have Paul Rubens. We have a Bao Hong sample pack. I think there's, I don't know, six different papers in here. It's going to be really fun. I have the 90 pound B 100% cotton paper. That's something that I wanted to try for my kitty coloring book that is upcoming someday soon, <laughs> hopefully. A different type of Paul Rubens watercolor paper. The Gin Crafts watercolor paper. This is cellulose, but it's supposed to be really, really good. So I told you guys about this in my Amazon picks video for Prime Day. So I still haven't tested that, we're going to. And then we have the Gin Crafts 100% cotton paper and I'm really hoping that it's awesome because it's quite affordable. I have this huge arches block that I started a painting on in class, watercolor class that I teach at the college. Anyway, ah, it's gonna be a very stylized version of a really fun painting, so I'm excited for that. I also received some happy mail today. And the Happy Mail will allow us to compare the Rosa Studio watercolors to the Rosa Professional watercolors. How exciting is that? I'm hoping that they're similar colors. I haven't even opened them up and looked yet because I really need to just go lay down. <laughs> but I will, I will. And then Zen Art contacted me and asked me if I wanted to review some of their supplies. They had me choose a watercolor palette of my choice and paper of my choice. So I chose the Zen Art Nomad watercolor palette. This one's pretty unique and I think it will be fun. And they had 100% cotton watercolor paper. So I wanna try this out as well. I'm really hoping these cotton papers will work out. Although I think this one was kind of expensive. I'll double check and let you guys know in that video. So that's all the like tangible things that I have that are coming up on this channel. We still have a huge list from Happy Mail that I received from Kimberly Crick, from another viewer and another viewer. <laughs> I also have that Mission Gold Pure Pigment set that you guys may have seen when I was doing like the studio redo when I put the things in progress table over there. I have a new Paul Rubin set because I gave my Paul Rubin set to my daughter-in-law and so I replaced it with a very sparkly one so we have all of that. Oh, I really want to get back to that Holbein gouache that I got in that one video and I'll link that for you in the corner because that gouache was really fun. I have gouache palettes that are like silicone sealed that I need to fill and use and try. I have King Art gouache. Okay, what's some of the stuff on this list? King Art gouache, pearlescent paints, the Sennelier acrylic inks, yes please, those should be fun. Charcoal sticks, ew, not so much fun. I have some dot cards I've received, lots of dot cards. We have so many dot card painting videos coming up, it's gonna be so much fun. The Artwell watercolors, I did finally get to those. I do wanna play with them some more though. I wanna use the White Knights watercolors again because I barely got to use those. We have all of the Prima watercolors that were sent to me by Kimberly, the Decadent Pies, Tropicals, Classics, all of those, so we have to play with that. The Art Philosophy gouache we have to play with. 
The Sonnet watercolors, I barely did anything with those when we had that, oh, I had that sketchbook challenge that I tried to join, and I think I joined it for like six or seven days. That was really fun, but I need to try them out better, more better. <laughs> more better. I have Hanamule paper samples that were sent to me by one of you that I really want to try out. Aqua markers, illustrator markers, all kinds of things, plus two pages of ideas of really fun subjects that I have written down that I want to get to with you guys. So, so yes, lots of fun stuff coming up, and I hope this teaser was enough to keep you going until Tuesday's video, because Tuesday's video should be really fun. Alright guys, I hope you have a great weekend if you're watching this the day it's released, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now! King Art Gouache Pearlescent Plaint... <laughs> Plaints. <laughs> I think I'm gonna sneeze.